CYC is a free channel presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. In this episode about sexual addiction, we are going to talk about how sexual addiction is a drug addiction. What's the mechanism in the brain? Simply the mechanism in the brain is about neurotransmitters in the brain. We have in our brain a neurotransmitter called dopamine. This brain neurotransmitter, the dopamine, is responsible for our mood behavior and our pleasure. So when we eat, it's fine, I am good now and I have a good mood. When I work out, when I watch a movie, and so and so and so. What happens that our brain when having this signal that, for example, I'm hungry, now I'm eating, it's fine. The brain is sending this dopamine to help me to have this good mood and pleasure. I am fine. I'm eating now because I'm hungry. And so on, so on, so forth, like watching movie, for like working out for the exercise, all that. What happened for the addict? For the addict, it's completely different because now there is a deal between the brain and myself. The brain is going to tell me, you know what? I have this certain amount of dopamine. I am giving you this dopamine when you have any activity to give you pleasure. So because I am an addict, so I am going to tell my brain, hold on, I want you to focus on the sexual behavior. So when I am having this sexual thoughts and sexual behavior, you just send me the dopamine. I will be happy. So the brain is now making a deal with me. The brain deal is, listen, I'm not going to send you dopamine unless you give me the sexual behavior. So I'm not going to send you dopamine for anything else. So you eat, you work, you have money, you work out, you watch movie, I don't care. I'm going to give you dopamine to help you have this pleasure on one condition, which is having the sexual stuff. What happened for this deal between my brain and myself? That now, if I am not going to bring this sexual content to the brain, I am going to be depressed. That's why if you remember, when we talked previously in the beginning episodes of the sexual addiction, that if you are not engaged in sexual behavior, you are stressed out, you are irritable, you feel aggressive. Why? Because of that. Your brain cannot function. And that's why we always said you cannot function without having the sexual behavior, the compulsive sexual behavior or the sex addiction. Sex addiction is like a drug addiction. The pathological relationship to a mood altering behavior. So it's a mood, which is the, through the dopamine receptors and the neurotransmitters. Induced by preoccupation, fantasy, ritual, and behaviors. You are always acting out in this sexual behavior. You feel shame and then the fantasy and then it comes to a ritual. You used to do it. You're acting out and again, it's a vicious circle. Always in the vicious circle. Always in the vicious circle. Acting out, feel shame but having pleasure. And it comes to be a ritual, a system in your life. I have to do it. Now because I have to do it, 
to raise my pleasure once again. So I'm acting out. I feel shame. But unfortunately, I can't stop. So what happened? I have the pleasure. Then it's a ritual. It's a system. Vicious circle. Sexuality is used as a pain relief. Simply, it's a pain relief. I am always stressed. I cannot stop myself. What can I do? Nothing. Just to take the pain reliever, which is sexual addiction. The studies indicate that food, abuse the drugs, and sexual interests share a common pathway within our brains, survival and reward systems. That's simply a reward system, which is the dopamine, the neurotransmitter. Telling you, I'll give you pleasure on one condition, give me my deal. My deal may be drug, my deal alcohol, my deal sexual content, my deal porn movie, my deal gambling, whatever the deal is. But if the deal between the brain and yourself, that the addiction is your source of happiness, how it will be, the brain understands automatically that if you send me the sexual behavior compulsion or the stuff related to sex, I will give you the dopamine to make you feel better. The addicted brain fools the body by producing intense biochemical rewards for this self-destructive behavior. As I told you, that's the key for the brain. And you have to know something. As I told you, the cycle. Simply the cycle is you act out. You do the sexual behavior. You feel shame. But unfortunately, you have the pleasure. Because of the pleasure, you used to do it again. It comes to your system. Now you used to do it. And the brain used to bring you the dopamine for your happiness. Then you act out. And then... You have the shame, but you have the pleasure. So you do it again, and so on. Vicious circle. That's the disaster of this sexual addiction. And that's how it goes through your system. And that's why, if you remember, we talked about many people having sexual addiction, they fail to stop. Unsuccessful attempts to stop. Why? Because simply, I tried, but I can't. Because you are in the circle, you are in the vicious circle. You cannot cut this circle, you can't. You are either in the fantasy, in the pleasure, or in the system, the ritual system, you used to do it, or in the acting out, or you feel shame which will not last. Why? Because I will feel pleasure, and so on. That's the cycle. So we need to cut this cycle. That's why one of the best ways is to escape, to stop it, cut it. The brain will be automatically used to the new system you are going to put the brain in. For example, if you put the system in the brain that working out gives me the pleasure, he will use to give you dopamine when you work out. That's why one of the best things to help yourself physically to stop the sexual addiction is to work out because working out you have an energy so you release this energy and at the same time you can control yourself and you have the pleasure of the brain that's why working out is one of the main but before anything working you have to change your brain i'm going to tell you something is very important. We are going to read a part from St. Paul to Romans. In St. Paul to Romans chapter 12 is the answer for this. Why? Because in St. Paul to Romans chapter 12 verse 2 it's written that do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. 
we were talking about brain so how to change your brain your mindset to change your brain is by renewing your mind transformation is by renewing your mind again and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind you have to renew your mind renewing is through our Lord Jesus Christ this is the only way to renew the mindset how to do it be in close relation and at the same time do your workout and the actions that will release the energy and to help your brain to schedule another system of pleasure which is working out instead of the addiction but at the end of the day if you want to change or transform your mind it's in your hands the only thing is be in contact with our Lord Jesus Christ that's always I'm telling you with him overcome sin God bless all of you looking forward to seeing you in our next episode